Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and today I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts for selecting an entire column of data that contains blank cells. So the keyboard shortcut for that is uh, Control Shift plus the down arrow. So when I click that you'll see that um, basically from cell A2 all the way down to A1000 is selected with Control Shift plus down arrow. However, if the column contains some blank cells, like column C here, if I use control shift and down arrow, it only selects the range um, down to the, the first blank cell. And if I hit control shift down arrow again, it skips that cell and starts at the next cell that contains data. So I'm continuing to hit control shift down arrow to scroll down this uh, column. However, if I want, that could take a long time if you have a lot of blank cells. So there is a quicker way to do that. If you select cell C2 and then use Control Shift plus the end key on the keyboard, that'll select the entire range of used cells on the worksheet. So now we're selected from cell C2 all the way down to O1000. Now if I just want to select C2, I can hold the Shift key and click the left arrow. And as I click the left arrow on the keyboard, um, the the range basically moves the selected range moves over to the left so that right bound column is moving over to the left and I can just get to column C which is the phone number so now I have the entire uh, column from C2 down to C1000 selected even though it contains blank cells in there another trick I'm going to go back to uh, cell C2 here if you have if you do that same thing hit control shift end and you have a lot of columns to the right of the column you're trying to select. So um, in this case, it extends to O, but if you extend way farther out to the right, if you, you, if you use Control, Shift, and then left arrow, that will then select everything from C all the way over to A, or whatever column you're in, all the way over to the first column. And then you can hold down the Shift key and, go the, and use the right arrow to then select cell. Just I'm sorry, selects column C2 only. So depending on how many columns you have to the right or left of the column you're trying to select, you can use those particular keyboard shortcuts to select the entire column, including the blank cells. I hope you find this helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.